Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. This is my 96 Supra. Welcome to the channel. Uh, the channel is about Ryan Summit Racing. It's about this team that I built, um, a team of great guys, and uh, my 96 Supra. And uh, it's a it's a whole journey. It's a whole documented journey about drag racing, about the passion of racing this car, um, the damage along the way, you know, the goods, the bads. It's going to be a series of videos of, uh, you know, tutorials about goods and bads, about drag racing, the expenses, and what it takes to have a car at this level. Um, and uh, the goal is to document it all. Uh, we will be going to TX2K in March. We will be racing here locally in Toronto, uh, Canada, um, and all the all the other events that we we're probably going to go. We're going to go to Maryland. Uh, we're going to go to FL2K again. So, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, if you like Supras, if you like drag racing, um, give us uh, give us a like, subscribe. There's going to be a lot of content coming. Um, but this video is about the thumbnail that you've seen. You probably noticed um, a broken 2JZ in half, and you probably wonder, how the hell do you do that? So this video is about that, how we did it, and uh, what it takes to break a 2JZ in half. They're very, very strong, and believe it or not, if you try hard enough, you can you can break one in half. So here's how it happened. So Victor Alvarez from Florida, from Induction Performance, invited us to go to FL2K back in October uh, 2019 uh, to race with uh, all the big boys. You know, racing here in Toronto, we never really had um, a, a big competition so to speak so it was always it was always a dream for us to go down in the US and compete with you know with all the big boys down there so the minute he uh, he offered for us to go I jumped on it we uh, rented a trailer and uh, grabbed the whole crew and we drove down to Florida and uh, we had a blast um, we uh, we had some goods we had some bads and uh, unfortunately um, this video is about the carnage because it's so dramatic I really had to document it and show you guys you know what it takes to, to, to blow a 2JZ in half So now that you've seen uh, you've seen us all set up and uh, we got we got one really good pass, which is a 758 at 184 miles an hour, which is my personal best. Um, here's that video. Super. After this pass, we decided to turn it up a little bit, so we had the nitrous sprayed up till the 8th, and uh, we decided why don't we spray it all the way. So, and we also ramped up the uh, the 60 foot, the launch, we ramped it up a little more aggressive, and to figure out what would, uh, to go faster. I mean, we're competing with uh, with all these cars with billet blocks. Um, we're with a cast block, so we're kind of trying to push it, push it to the limit to try to compete with these guys. So we ramped it up a little too aggressive, and this is what happened. After that wheelie, um, the car slammed down hard, and when it went down, it, it literally landed on the subframe. Um, and the problem with that is that the subframe has the engine mounts uh, on the block, 
and we think that you know with it slamming down it might have cracked the block and then eventually at the end of the pass it let go um, here's the video of that top it off um, the car was actually a little bit on fire the engine bay was a little bit on fire um, here's a clip showing me flying out of the car and just it's a it's a big fear of me to get an accident and burn to the ground so I mean the minute I seen smoke I put the car and uh, put the car on the side and I literally flew out of it and I didn't really care what's gonna happen to the car all, all I'm thinking is my safety so here's a clip of uh, me pointing to the to the guys there at Florida to, to make sure that there was a little fire in the engine bay, make sure they get that out. Here's a clip of that. fire was very small it didn't do any damage literally it was just a little bit of oil that they took out right away um, so yeah so here's a little bit of the damage of what happened I'll show you guys the block I'll show you the head uh, the rods that were in it um, here you go so this is the trophy block As you can see cylinder number five that used to be here and here is gone so here is where the engine mounds go and you can see the crack is right beside it um, it even has stress marks here I don't know if you see them there's stress marks where the uh, where the head studs are which is kind of very common in the 2JZ world when you start pushing 15 1600 real horsepower you start seeing cracks here but yeah that's the carnage of the block this is the rod that was in it a little bent right it's supposed to look like that that's the num number four I believe CP pistons R&R &R rods very good rods this is my original block that's still in one piece this was bored out to 87 millimeters, so I didn't want to use it again earlier this year. We wanted to go 86 and a half. Um, so my friend was kind enough to let me borrow this block. Well, fortunately, he won't be getting it back. <laughs> yeah. This is the head. Head game's head. Race port. Unfortunately, if I can zoom here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that good. It's got a dent here. If you look here, there's a dent here. Why is this thing not zooming? Yeah, so we won't be using that anymore. There's the race port. Nice job, Dave. Yep. So here's the car. Getting her ready for TX2K. We're changing some parts around. 
I move the battery from the back, moving into the front passenger seat. The nitrous is going to go there. The suppression system is going to go here. That way we even out the weight from one side to the other. All the parts waiting. Coil rad. No engine. Dock race manifold. That's sold. Hypertune. Rossler TH400. And you know, that's a beautiful billet crank from Brian Crower. We'll be documenting that in the next video. That's the crank. ETS intercooler. But yeah. That's what happens when you push it too far. So, that's what it takes to break a 2JZ in half. So there's a series of videos coming up. We'll be getting a big surprise. We'll be getting a billet block. We'll be getting the new head from, uh, from Head Games Motorworks. We'll be getting a big turbo. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like the channel. We'll be posting a lot of videos probably once a week. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.